Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to render a 3D project with Maya and Redshift at iRender. We'll test the project with 8 GPUs RTX 3090 and see how great it is. Let's get started. First, let's go to iRender's homepage and log into the personal account. On the iRender console, we see the download section. Please select the appropriate GPU housing version for your computer. This application is used for transferring data. After the installation is complete, log into GPU Hub Sync by entering your credentials. Here we see there are two drives, Z and X. You are allowed to use Z drive to upload and download your projects. Here, we'll upload the Maya project to the Z folder. After completing the upload, go back to the iRender console to boot the machine configuration you want. You can create a new image or reuse the one you created previously. Because we already created and used the server with 8 RTX 3090s, now we just need to boot it. Watch the video and notice what we do. It will take 5 to 10 minutes to boot a computer, please wait. After performing the boot step, you will be asked to download an RDP file to connect your computer with the remote server. Open it and access the server. Copy the project just uploaded from Z Drive to desktop or anywhere you want in C Drive. Here you can copy the software you want on the X drive to the C drive, then install it. Or, download it from anywhere you want, just keep in mind that installing software should be done on a hard drive like C or desktop. We already installed Maya and Redshift, so let's go to the next step. Please log into your account here, and ask us to issue your Redshift software unlock if you don't have key active. Once you're our Prime customer, you can use our Redshift key through the Redshift License Management app here. Now open the 3D project and start rendering. You can open Task Manager and check if there are enough GPUs and their performance. In the Video and Code section in GPU, Please change to CUDA so you can clearly see how the GPUs are working. After rendering is complete, copy the rendered folder to the Z drive. Then exit software such as Maya or Redshift with an X on the screen. When you finish these steps, remember to go back to the iRender console and click the shutdown button to turn off the remote server. Now copy the output folder on the GPU Hub Sync to your computer and admire the result. We are happy to guide you on how to use the iRender service and show you the performance of rendering on multi-GPS. We rendered a Maya project using Redshift Render Engine. The total frames is 50, with the size of 3860 pixels and 2160 pixels each. It took only 3 minutes and 6 seconds to complete this project on the 8 RTX 3090 server. That is the end of the video today. Thanks for watching the video.
I render, happy rendering, happy training.